Panel, are you all ready to play the game? Yes, yes sir. Let's have a go Boy. at it then. Gentlemen, will you come in, please? Our first contestant. Gentlemen, if you will be seated, I'm sure our audience is curious as to what your names are and where you're from. So we'll start with you, sir. My name is Vernon Milchevich. I'm from Wakefield, Michigan. Vernon Milchevich from Wakefield, Michigan. Remember Vernon. And your name, sir? Eli Milchevich, Wakefield, Michigan. Eli Milchevich, and he is also, they are brothers. This is Vernon to my right, Eli on my left. Now, Eli and Vernon, if you will whisper your secrets to me, we'll show it at the same time to the audience at home. I can believe it. Panel, a clue to their secret concern, something about them, which isn't too much of a clue, but let's start with him, um, with uh, Bill tonight, please. Uh, does this thing have to do with uh, a relationship of any kind? Uh, I mean, family relationship. Their secret has nothing to do with that. They are brothers, mm -hmm, but, uh, but nothing like that. Something that you've attained? Yes. Uh, something you're proud of? Yes. yes. In athletics? In the broad general field of athletics. Oh, all right, that's a pretty broad general field. <laughs> uh, not a not a game per se, or would you no. call it a game? No. But let's let, let's say we we'll have to put it this way: there there was competition involved, mm -hmm. and therefore it must be classified widely as a sport. But it is not a, a sport that would come readily to your mind. But there was competition. Would this be the kind of a sport in which men would participate? Yes. 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 Uh, did it require any uh, strength? Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> $20 down, $60 to go. We go, please, to Betsy. Well, it must be kind of a slippery sport because you're both wearing sneakers. <laughs> They're just so, a couple of sneaks, that's all. Yes, but it has to be something that you have to grip about it, don't yes. you? Is it something um, that would you would be running, for instance? No. Do you have to grip each other with your shoes? I mean, like jumping on each other's shoulders or no, something no. like that? No, no. You might hold feet. <laughs> Not hold feet. But you have uh, an open collar. Does it have anything to do with bowling? Nope. No? Is it something you do in Michigan that you wouldn't do elsewhere? No. Like no, log rolling, maybe, or something like that? No. Well, I would say, when you say log rolling or something like that, I would have to say, yes, something like that. It is not, however, confined to Michigan by a uh, whale oh, of a lot. you think of that in the great north? Yeah, something. all right. Let's go to Henry Morgan, please, with $40. <laughs> well, as long as Betsy has thought of it, I'd... Uh, be delighted to become a hero by going along with it. Are you burlers? No. <laughs> they know what those are. Uh, Henry, for all of our all of our listeners in Brooklyn, to whom a burler is a fellow who burls something in a pan, <laughs> I think you better explain what burlers are. Huh? <laughs> Did you explain what? Well, that? you said uh, Betsy said log rolling, and log rolling is um, when you burl. It's a competition in which two men each stand each of two men stands on the end of a log. And they spin it to see which one goes off first. And they wear little spiked shoes. And they burl over. Well, now, over, yeah. now we understand exactly what it is that they are not. Right. They are non-burl. But it does have to do with logs. Yes. Does it have to do with throwing logs? No. Like All right, $60 down, $20 to go. We go, please, now to bed. All right. Uh, I won't attempt the last name. Let's see, Eli. Uh, does it, uh, it's a display of strength. Yes. And uh, is it uh, anything to do with the number of logs that you listed at... Oh. What I say? Fine, fine. What? Uh, <laughs> Betsy, Betsy, it isn't, it isn't your turn. I know, but that doesn't she matter. <laughs> <laughs> We're you want, friends. You want, yes. Okay, well, I'll give, you, I'll give you one more question and that's all. And you can make up your mind now whether you want to go for Betsy's right. help or not. And if it's wrong, this is the last question you get. If it's wrong, I'll kill her. No, I'm, I'm going to desert you, Betty. Betsy, did you... Um, you'll be fine. It had to do with... Three, three. It had to do more. With, uh... No, I'm not going to I forgot what I said. Higher. Is it lifting? Higher. Is it lifting a number of logs? Is it lifting logs? No. No, no. it's going. Ah! These gentlemen not only share a secret but an occupation. They are lumbermen or lumberjacks from the Michigan forest. Their secret is that they are the log sawing champions of the world. And Vernon here has been undefeated for 14 years. And as a team, working on a two-man saw, they have been champions for 12 years.
Now, gentlemen, how long does it usually take for an average logger to saw a 14-inch log in half? Let's one say. minute. You can do it in one minute, 14 inches in one minute. But you did it much faster than that in competition. Yes. Well, we would like to demonstrate their speed. Uh, will you open the curtains, please? Here's a big, fat log. Now, these gentlemen are used to working in competition. We want to give them something to compete against. Henry, will you come out here, please, old friend? <laughs> no. Come out here, buddy. We'll make it tough for these guys. We'll show them what a couple of New Yorkers can do to a couple of Michigan New Yorkers. You're out here, Henry. You know it. There you go. Now, here's a big saw, Henry. Is that what it is? <laughs> the rough edge goes down. That's right. Now, oh, this is ridiculous. Take it out about like so. Yeah, but we'll be here yeah. for a couple of months. <laughs> you i mean i mean how long does it take uh, uh, the average guy one minute one minute one minute all right put a put a watch no on. you're too old gary <laughs> i mean i give my all for this program you know that i'll start by pulling and then you and, and then, then you i do what inside. then you pull, pull it back yeah well, that's pretty hard all right you ready go get that watch going boy look at those kids oh. Find where we're doing it. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Steady, steady. Don't oh. push so hard. Oh. Steady, steady. <laughs> well, you folks get the general idea, don't you? Let's figure out. Hey, Henry. All right, I let's guess not let them go on at all. <laughs> I got something even more amazing. And they gave us the light saw, the easy one oh, to use. They got one that we could hardly lift. But before we see that, Mr. Hill, will you come out here, sir? He has a chainsaw. Mr. Hill, this is impolite, I know. What is your first name, sir? Howard. Howard Hill, yes. All right, now here's the chainsaw. Nice to see you indeed. Now, let me give a stopwatch out because I'll get it going. I'll time you, then we'll time the brothers against you. All right, let me clear my watch. Anytime you're ready to start, you start. one minute if he's awfully good it took mr hill with his marvelous saw 31 and a half seconds Please. all right hill thank you thank very you. very much <laughs> thank you now gentlemen you come here you pick up your own heavy saw i wouldn't even dare try to lift the thing let me clear my watch 31 seconds i said right all right wait a minute, wait a minute. hold it hold it hold it don't use our cut we you know we were happy <laughs> don't use our restart all right anytime you want to go makes you feel puny, don't it? Oh, my. Of course, there's not only great strength involved, there's also a great deal of know-how. 